guys it's lena from the land of gods and yes i am back from my rather long break did not anticipate that it's going to be this long but i am so very happy that i'm back back to you guys back to my cards and back to my readings and this one is for the sign of pisces sun moon rising and venus as usual guys please remember these are general reading times fluid and energies can be reversed all right pisces two more shuffles i hear and we will be ready we're going to look into the challenge the advice and the possible outcome if the challenge is looked into advice is followed energies of course are going to be clarified we are done and we're going to wrap up the reading with an energy oracle guidance message challenge for my fishies for this week spirit what is it that my fishies might Ooh. from what are we trying to move on we want to get somewhere oh this is very very similar to scorpios that i did they had patience in challenge and you have chariot they wanted to move there was a sense of restlessness a sense of rush and i feel that here as well you feel stuck but what you truly want to do is move but you're not able to and that is leaving you extremely extremely frustrated and confused somehow like why is it not happening what is the advice for the challenge three of waters and the sun wow that's a beautiful advice to get work around things people and sometimes i was reading this today actually in the morning that you cannot run away from your darkness you have to walk through it to get to your sun and whatever support system that you need go and grab it it takes a lot of courage to ask for the help to grab that helping hand that's coming your way so if there is somebody who is coming in to support you or if you need support ask for it and don't hesitate to take that hand of help and if we do that, where are we heading? What would be the outcome? Sun being in the advice is having that sense, that inner knowing that all is going to turn well at the end, you know. This is your angels letting you know that whatever it is, whatever time it is taking, it's for your good it is that divine timing that we are talking about Ooh, talk about divine timing we have the wheel of fortune man the things the way they're gonna show up you're gonna be so so happy that you took the time or this entire thing whatever it is took the time that it took king of air as the overall you'll see things really clearly eventually yeah this sense of being stuck this sense of rush the sense of restlessness that you feel this feeling all tied up in some ways you will see exactly as to why it happened the way it happened when it would happen yeah and with the sun card i feel there is also someone coming in who is going to show you the way i hear yeah there is some kind of help or support coming in that's gonna show you an angle through which you have not been looking you know into the situation and probably that's the breakthrough that's gonna help turn things around or make this stuck energy unstuck again let's clarify chariot spirit wow let's see the sun ten of cups knight of wands yeah we are really eager we 
are really passionate about getting somewhere, getting to a point of happiness. You know, it's like when you're going for a family picnic, there are many people there. You want to play something or do something and the others are like, ah, you know what, let's just chill, sit in the shade and like, no, 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 you know, let's make the most out of it. And because they are not cooperating or they are just going their own way, you do not feel that you are making the most out of the situation. So yeah, that rush is there that let's, let's just get things done and, you know, let's make the most out of it. Let's just, you know, live every moment. Um, not everybody is overly enthusiastic like that. King of Cups with the Four of Pentacles right here. Yeah, I think we are not able to, at this point in time, consider other people's emotions or keep that in the picture while we are processing this situation. And that is the reason I think we feel a little more defensive also this sense of not being able to do as you please or as you want or at the pace that it is going is not something that is matching with the speed that your thoughts are getting worked up in your head. It's really making you feel like, ah, oh, come on, what is wrong with you? Let's just go and have some fun. And they're like, you know what, let's just consider other people's emotions and other people's feelings also, huh? Or maybe it's just a cover up. Remember, this could be reversed. This could be somebody else rushing you into something and you're like, hey, I want to get to my son too. Yes, but I want to take my time. And if we want to do it together, let's just come to some midway, okay? Let's clarify. Sun and the Three of Waters, the Three of Cups. This is looking at things also in a way that I have more than enough. So why am I in such a hurry to get more? Okay. Look, we have devil and judgment coming in yeah we need to look at this from a balanced point of view this is what we are told that there is someone who is being very pushy or you are being very pushy let's not do that okay let's work together in harmony there is a need for harmony there is a need to consider everybody's happiness not just yours this is not being selfish here okay this is not getting carried away with your emotions this is you being asked to be fair to others and if we finally find that grounding if we finally find that hold on our emotions and consider others also and bring in compassion into the situation where are we heading it takes a lot of strength Look, the star is coming in. Yeah, we will be able to look into the situation with a lot of hope instead of that rush, that push. I think we would come to a point wherein we won't feel that stuck energy being all tied up. And that will help us being less pushy. You know what I mean? When things are not working out, we are just doing anything and everything to make things work but slowly once the wheel starts moving that sense of urgency fades so it is going to fade you know and i think that gives us also that scope of considering other people too it takes quite a bit to take other people's opinion into consideration and deal with conflict with a sense of 
new view, so to say. Like, yeah, I see now what you were saying. I know this is dealing with conflict like a leader. If a leader, let's say, does something wrong or realizes that the approach wasn't the right way, like my intention was right, but how I was doing it was not right. It takes quite a bit to accept that, right? To gain that clarity and say, yes, I see it. It wasn't the right thing to do. And even apologize. This is what brings in forgiveness, I feel. Look, the king of pentacles right there with the king of air. That clarity is there. You hold yourself and everybody else responsible in the way things kind of happened, which you did not want it to, but you were just in a rush of getting things right. And in that rush, you landed up doing it the wrong way. Yeah, there's an irony there, but that's what happens. And look, the four of wands is there. Realizing where you were lagging, getting to that stable grounds, taking that responsibility and bringing in you know, forgiveness and hope. There is a sense of, I'm sorry. There is a apology, whether it is coming from somebody who's pushing you or from you because you were being pushy and that was leaving everybody confused in this well, you know, all's well when ends well. That's what I feel. Yes, all's well when ends well. Apology is on the cards. There is a sense of, dude, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was being so desperate to get to my 10 of cups that I didn't see what I was doing. That I was, you know, kind of being nasty. That devil energy with the judgment is, you know, look at it from a fair perspective. I mean, seriously, are you being fair to yourself and to others? Sun is being there to illuminate any darkness in your head. And if you need help, take that help. Contract. We have contracts. This could be for somebody signing contracts and somebody was being rushed into and you were like, nope, or you were trying to rush somebody into that. And because they were not, you were kind of being pushy and defensive. This card shows a contract in the background ready to be signed, indicating a committed connection of some sort. This union may be a business deal, the sale of a home, a new job, or even a commitment in marriage. Whatever the connection, this card is more than a casual agreement. This could be like a blessing in disguise, wherein you are put in a sticky situation and once you work through it when you get to the other side the connection is much stronger it's like a litmus paper test it's usually something that requires a document that's binding at least for the time being the scales of justice also indicate i'm taken to that judgment by the way that if a legal action is underway it is likely to turn out in your favor. This card shines a light on potential new opportunities, so remain aware and receptive to what may be coming your way. Absolutely. Well, be open, be receptive to other people's idea and uh, things are going to go in the direction that they're supposed to go in the time that they are supposed to go, Pisces. So on that note, I'm going to take your leave. I thank you all for joining me this week. It's a wrap. Namaste from the land of gods.